What you guys got another video here for you. What happens if you don't activate Windows 11? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So first off, if you have Windows 11 and it's not activated, you can still use Windows 11, but there will be some restrictions on Windows 11. So let's take a look at the settings pane here. Inside here, inside the actual system area here, you'll see Windows isn't activated. This is the first place where you're going to see it. You may get the odd pop-up message or the odd nag screen from Microsoft. You also may get a watermark on the desktop after a period of time saying your computer needs to be activated. If you look inside the background area here, you can see it's all grayed out. They won't allow you to personalize your installation, which means you can't change uh, backgrounds and things like that easily uh, because they've grayed it out. Uh, also, you're going to find that themes, you won't be able to change any sort of themes. These will all be grayed out. And the same thing with colors. You can't change any color schemes on here. These are going to be grayed out as well. As you can see here, you won't be able to change any of these either. And this is part of what they're trying to do here is they're trying to uh, stop you from using certain features that you might want to use if you're using an unactivated version. But the actual operating system fully works it's fully functional same thing for the lock screen here you're not going to be able to make any changes down here these areas are grayed out here and that's because you are not activated and the same thing goes for your taskbar they also restrict certain things in your taskbar you may see some of these areas that are uh, grayed out in here as well and this is basically what they're trying to do is trying to uh, take away some of the things that you may do on a regular basis where you want to change wallpapers and things like that and this is why uh, they have done this to try and make you uh, activate or buy a license from them. So if you haven't upgraded and you've installed Windows for the very first time, whether it be Windows 10 or Windows 11, this is what you can expect to see. Now, you will still receive updates from Microsoft. You'll still receive all of the security updates and all of your feature updates from Microsoft, whether you're using Windows 10 or Windows uh, 11. Either one of these, you'll still receive all these updates. You can still set things like a, a scheduled time here for reboot and things like that. It's still fully functional. And the same thing with Windows. It is still fully functional apart from uh, certain things uh, like I've already mentioned, which is your personalization area. You will still see uh, some error codes here saying it's not been activated and things like that. This is a general thing. And again, you will be nagged for activation. And you can still activate windows in any way you feel like it whether it be from the official uh, microsoft store here where you can purchase keys or you can go and get them from some other route there and you can go into change product key and add in your product key and activate your version of windows so theoretically you could continue to use windows 10 or windows 11 for forever basically without activating but if you check microsoft's terms of service here they do actually say that um, you're not supposed to use Windows without activation. And if you check down the bottom here, it will tell you that you're not authorized to use the software without activation. Authorized software and activation. You're authorized to use this software only if you are properly licensed and the software has been properly activated with a genuine product key or by authorized method. And you can continue to read that, but basically that says it in a nutshell there that you're not supposed to be using at Windows without activating it first. Now, Microsoft doesn't really force this on you or don't authorize this in any way, shape or form. They just let people uh, use Windows and make their own decision whether they're going to activate or not. They're probably assuming that everyone will activate at some point. So they'll just let you use it, but they'll take some restrictions away like your personalization. But I'm pretty sure that if they really wanted to enforce it, they could do, but they just don't. Anyway, that's going to be about it. You probably can continue to use Windows 11 without activating for a pretty long time. But again, do you really need to? It's pretty cheap to buy a key nowadays and get your operating system fully activated. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Hope this answers all your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big special thanks to all the people that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again for more videos real soon. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Drop on our Discord if you fancy a chat and I'll see you over there. Bye for now.